Hi everybody, I hope you're having a good week. Welcome to this During the Week video. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. It's Wednesday afternoon, I'm here at the front of our church. Uh, if you saw last week's During the Week video, you might remember that I was also here last week. I was talking about our getting together again for our worship service on Palm Sunday. Boy, was I really looking forward to that. Seeing people here on the front lawn who I haven't seen in a while, but guess what? And some of you know, it rained last Sunday. Well, we still had the service. We used our FM transmitter so people could hear it from their vehicles. We were also on Facebook Live so people could watch us, but it wasn't what I thought it would be. But guess what? Wow, we had a parking lot full of cars and to what was, I thought was really neat, I saw this picture that Karen Gordon posted and um, about this is the view from her car. And there you see that she and her husband, Doug, they had their bulletins out. They were watching it on their phone and ooh, that looks like me in the pulpit. Wow, th this was just so neat. And so I just want to thank you so much to everyone who came. I also want to thank those who watched the service um, and thank you also for those who watched the recording. Also this past Sunday, it was wonderful seeing everyone who came to our Easter egg hunt. I want to thank Rachel and all of those who helped her. It was an awesome egg hunt, and it certainly was a lot of fun. Thank you to everyone who made it possible for those who donated, those who helped, and those who came. So I'm here at the front of our church again thinking about this coming Sunday. So far, the weather report says that we're going to have a good day this Sunday morning. It might be a little cool at first but I'm looking forward to a wonderful Easter celebration over at God's Acre for our sunrise service and then later in the morning here for our worship service right here on our front lawn. Now there's some things that are happening for us. I want to continue to remember and let you know about our Holy Week services, which will be held this Wednesday evening and tomorrow evening on Thursday and Friday evening with each of the services being at seven o'clock. We've been going through our readings for Holy Week books and hearing some of Jesus' great teachings and seeing all that he went through that last week, which led to the cross. I appreciate everyone who has come, and everyone is more than welcome to attend. Now, we are being careful as we're having these services in the sanctuary. We're asking people to wear a mask and to watch their distance. I will say that it's been great worshiping in our sanctuary. It's also nice knowing that people are watching the services on Facebook Live and watching the recordings of the services on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel and our website. Besides our readings that we're having, there's also a lot of wonderful music as part of the service. Now for our service tomorrow night on Thursday, part of that service will include sharing Holy Communion. And if you're not here with us but you are watching it, you are more than welcome to have your communion at your home or wherever you're watching to provide your own bread and your own juice and share communion with us. On Friday, which is Good Friday, we do have our crosswalk. Our crosswalk begins right here on our front lawn at 11 o'clock Friday morning, and we will carry a large cross through King to our God's Acre as we remember the day Jesus carried his cross to his crucifixion. I've already mentioned Easter Sunday, our sunrise service at God's Acre to celebrate Jesus' resurrection. It begins at 645 in the morning. There will also be a music prelude beginning at 635. Everyone is more than welcome to come. If you do come, please wear a mask and space yourselves out. If you're not able to come and you'd like to see the service, we will show it as it happens on Facebook Live and we will record it. Speaking of our God's Acre, it is so nice to see all the beautiful flowers on our graves in memory of loved ones at Easter. We want to make sure that all of our flowers do have graves. There are some graves that might not have them, so if you'd like to help make sure that we do have them, please see our church communications with information about that. And we thank Sheila Patterson for coordinating this project. And then later on Easter morning, we will have our Easter service here on our front lawn at 11 o'clock. Now, we want to continue to make it a safe service. We're going to continue with our precautions, which include families and individuals sitting in separate areas that have been marked out on the lawn. We're asking people to keep their distance, which includes no handshaking or hugs. We will not have child care. We ask everyone to wear a mask or a face covering um, because part of the service is we are going to be singing. Now, if you want to come and just stay in your car at the parking lot or a vehicle, you're more than welcome to do that. We will be using our FM transmitter. Um, and also, if you're unable to come or maybe not feeling sure to, about getting out, we will have the service on Facebook Live, and we will continue to have our recordings of the service. 
One more thing about our Easter worship service. It is the first Sunday of the month, so part of our service will be our walk-up offering. At that part of the service, you can come to the steps and bring your offering for our general fund and also bring any donation you might want to make to Keene Outreach Ministry. Then a few other things for us. Our archives project continues. The group continues to meet on Wednesday afternoons at 1 o'clock. We do have a couple of fundraisers coming up. One is our community yard sale. It will be in April, Friday, April 23rd, and Saturday, April 24th. If you'd like to donate items, you can bring them starting Thursday, April 14th. I do want you to be aware that our yard sale, we are not receiving donations of clothes this time. Also, if you'd like to help, please check out our church communications where you can find dates and times that we need people to help, and you can also find ways to sign up to help. Also, we are renting spaces for people to sell their own items. Please check out our communications about, with that information. Another fundraiser is our preschool is doing a raffle, selling 200 tickets at $50 a ticket. There will be a lot of cash prizes awarded through the raffle. And then the last ticket to be drawn, that receives a grand prize of $3,000. Uh, so if you'd like to get a ticket or tickets, please contact our preschool director, Tina Pratt. The, Facebook, the drawing will be live on Facebook Live on Friday, April the 23rd. And then our church is sponsoring a Red Cross blood drive. This will be on Wednesday, April 13th from 1 o'clock to 530. You can sign up to give blood on the Red Cross website. We would like to have some people, if you could, to provide some refreshments and maybe to help with the sign-in. If you can help, please contact Scott Cardwell. We do have some prayer concerns. Let's pray for one of our young people, Olivia Harper. Olivia is having some knee surgery on Friday. Jennifer Dunn, as she continues to recover from her recent surgery, we continue to pray for her Aunt Mary King, who also had recent surgery and is beginning, soon will be getting cancer treatments. Um, let's remember Candace Covington, who's had an early diagnosis, early stage of glaucoma. She will be having some tests and scans coming up. Uh, Gina Handy, who continues to deal with some pain, but she has been able to get out a little bit better lately, and she's been coming to some of our services in these evenings, so we're very thankful for that. Nan Pulliam wants us to pray for her cousin, Mary Pulliam, who's dealing with cancer. Robert Simpson asks that we pray for his friend, Scott Height. He's dealing with a blood clot in his lung and pneumonia. Um, Amy Heastad, Charles McClellan, as he continues his recovery from recent surgery. Budge Gage asks that we pray for his daughter-in-law. Her name is Carol Gage. She lives in Charlotte. She's been dealing with Alzheimer's and has not been doing well. I also hope that you will just keep an eye on those that are on our prayer list. You can see them in our King Communications, in our church bulletins, on the emails that I send out. Please keep all of them in your prayers. We continue to pray for our schools, teachers, administrators, students, our college students and preschool. We pray for our health care workers. We pray for our nation as we continue through this pandemic and hopefully as we continue to get closer to the end of it. Um, and then if there are other concerns that I or we need to be aware, just please let me know. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to this Sunday, and I'm looking forward to seeing people here on our front lawn. And whether you are here or not, I hope everyone in our church family and everyone watching this video has a wonderful and meaningful and happy Easter. I pray that the greatest difference God made in the world in the gift of his son whom God sent to the world to die on the cross for our sins, I pray that you experience this difference, the difference of our risen Savior in your life. And as you go through this holy week, I pray that you will be touched by the great love God has for you in the gift and sacrifice of his son Jesus. And as you come to Easter, I hope you will celebrate the fact that Jesus rose from the dead, that he is alive, and may he be alive in your life. I hope you have a great rest of the week and a great upcoming weekend. Please pray for our upcoming services. Please come if you can, and God bless you.